All right, here we go. We're gonna toy a um, Barramundi fly. Doesn't have a name. Um, pretty much stole it from a good friend of mine, Jero Brewer. It was his uh, <coughs> Louisiana redfish fly. So it's gonna start off by putting this um, foul guard on here. Don't really need it with this fly but we'll uh, stick one on anyway so that's that standard you know loop loopy thing <clears throat> grab the zonker and tie it on top but off t off to one side just a tiny bit but pretty much they both go on top and they're just opposing each other same length or thereabouts no no big deal um, and you can uh, just take a wrap behind them, help them, help them uh, stand up there a little. All right. Yeah. Add some man if you're into that. Type in. uh, the hook is a Gamakatsu SL12S, a 2.0. Oh, that's all I use for Barramundi flies, two eyes. Plastic bead chain. That's just part of the uh, illusion. It's not serving any purpose. If you want to fish that tiny bit deeper, you know, you can go from whatever. Lead eyes, bead chain, whatever, uh, whatever you're thinking depth wise. Now, I like to keep the fly pretty sparse by using this these thinner brushes, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty sparse. One of those EP brushes. You could use a bulkier, heavier brush if you thought you're, you know, blind fishing, deeper water, fatter fly, that sort of thing. But I think these uh, these sparse brushes let the let the fly swim well too, and they sure do make it easy, you know. And just wrap that off and uh, the fly is pretty much done and I'm gonna tie a weed guard on it but you know it's, you're off you're off fishing there at that stage so that's it pretty simple <clears throat>